Right, I'm gonna get you a drink. What? Oh yes, please, Harry. I beer. don't know what you got. A cardamom beer. Oh wow. Can you give it a go? Oh, it's lovely, yeah, really nice. There you go. Yeah, I'm getting it. Good, That's good. really good. We're going to do a prawn dish. Oh, I love prawn. We're going to do a lamb dish. Yeah. And I'm going to make you some little um, bugare, which are little um, vegetable bites. So, first thing we're going to do is we're going to get our lamb on. Okay. Um, Ooh. So, lamb neck fillet is great for curry. I never know what lamb to buy. Okay. And I always end up spending loads of money. Because <laughs> I end up just getting sort of the one that's in a supermarket that looks like it's already in cubes and I, I just yeah, hope so for the Yeah, so never best. ever go for pre-chopped stuff. I always... So do you can. just get that from a butcher then? Yeah, I, I definitely go to a butcher. If I, if I buy a leg of lamb, I'll buy the whole leg and I'll trim it and take it off the bone myself. So let's peel these. Okay. Um, we're going to put about four or five. That's I've done good. two in the time you've done. One. Waste of time. <laughs> That's it. The hours <laughs> I have wasted needlessly chopping ends off garlic. Right. So just chuck that in. Again, no chopping or anything. So always use the big side of the grate, not the little one. I always use the little side. That's why you end up with loads of string. Right. So chuck that in. Wow. I'm learning. I'm <laughs> learning already. And we're just going to turn that on to a really low heat and let that simmer away okay. for about 40 minutes. Um, how are you with chopping onions? I think I'm pretty good. Yeah, go for it then. Well, I mean, I'll probably start and you'll be like, oh no, that's all wrong. <laughs> you wasted nice loads of time. And finely diced, please. The only thing I was going to say is when you hold it like that, yeah. most people will cut their thumb off do it <laughs> holding it like that. So make sure you like tuck, yeah, tuck your fingers like in. That. Yep. Feels quite weird. Okay. <laughs> Better than a chopped off thumb Absolutely, though. Absolutely, <laughs> exactly. My kitchen is so small, even if I cook something basic, yeah. it sort of looks like there's been a bomb dropped within minutes. <laughs> there's washing up, piling up. So that's what puts me off. It's the fact that I don't feel like I have the space to work my magic. Oh, you know, really? I need a big, you massive need kitchen a big like space. this. So do you follow a recipe to a tea? Yeah, I do. Really? I'm oh, there. Oh. I'm measuring things out to the gram. But I know that you've done a few of my dishes in the past. I have. Well, it's very exciting. Harry, I'm a big fan. This is why I'm so excited <laughs> to be here. Oh, bless the you. The most recent one I did was a passander, yeah, and it was nice, creamy. absolutely gorgeous. You'd have a little smell. Mm, I love cumin. So cumin so brings good. out the sweetness of. of your dish and it also adds a slight nuttiness so you are a very busy man at the moment i am quite busy yeah which is nice yeah because i feel sometimes like i don't have a real job <laughs> <laughs> i make youtube videos i've been doing it for about seven years i can make a video just in my bedroom just messing about mucking around and put that on the internet and people around the world will be able to watch it that's, that's crazy <laughs> you've got your YouTube channel. Yeah. The 0010. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you got it. Terrible username. <laughs> I don't know why I chose that. <laughs> it's so on. forgettable. <laughs> Rubbish. Then you've Who got the, number in the, in the username. Um, serial time. Serial time, yeah, so I do Which a breakfast show. Every day. Yeah. How do you manage to fit it all in? I think what makes it easy is that it, it genuinely doesn't feel like work most of the time. <laughs> so it's just sort of fun. I just feel like I'm just living my life. Living and the dream. Yeah, I'm going to do as much as I can. Give that a stir. So Am I detecting a bit of a Midlands accent, Harry? Yeah, I was going to say. Are you, from, are you from my neck of the woods? Are you? It keeps coming oh, through on the odd word. Oh, really? Yeah. I'm Where are you from? I'm from Wolverhampton, Babs. You're not? I am. From Wolverhampton? Yeah. Oh, my God. Well, I'm from Cannock. So when did you move down here? Um, I've moved all over the place. I lived in Bath for I went to university in Bath where okay. they beat the accent out of me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, same. But yeah, but my family's still my mum's still in, in Wolverhampton. My brother lives in Birmingham. I'm from so Cannock, where's, where's so where's the I... accent then? Cannock. So I, I, I grew up in Cannock. Yeah, but where's it gone? I, well, I, don't, I think it's like you say, it gets beaten out of you. <laughs> I was sick of people at uni taking the mick out of my accent. Oh, it's Jimmy. <laughs> it is. <laughs> it is. <laughs> so I was like, I need to sort this out. Uh, that's quite um, funny that you picked up on my twin. But I hope that I've still got a twinge of it. I don't I want to completely li- turn my back on my roots. I think it's a great accent if I, anyone's watching. I'm learning so much. I feel like I should be writing all this down. I, all I mean, it's me in film, so <laughs> that's it's, handy. So in terms of heat, yeah. you like a bit of spice. Oh, I like it oh, spicy. Good, good. So, Hit me up. I so see that as a challenge. Chop those up nice okay. and finely for me. So with cereal time, yes. how did that come about? Charlie's a good mate of mine. I've known him for years. Yeah. And handily, we actually live in the same apartment building, which is good. <laughs> So You're knocking on each other's door. So part of me thinks he asked me to be involved just because it was very convenient for him. <laughs> um, but he said he had this idea he wanted to do a daily chat show for mm-hmm. YouTube. 
wanted to do something slightly more professional yeah. and a project that we really had ownership over. Okay. It's our thing, it's our idea, we decide what we talk about, yeah. we, we don't really script it but we decide what goes in the show. Yeah. I watched a couple recently. Have I got a new fan? Oh, what do you know think? What? Thumbs up, you, thumbs down. No, I thought it was great. Oh, but, good. I'm so. glad. It'd be awkward if you were like, <laughs> not into it, sorry. <laughs> yes. It's the Halloween You one should maybe get a new hobby. Putting your hand in the box and yes. trying to work out what it was. So those ideas. Yeah. Every Monday we get together in a room and we're like, right, what should we do this week? See, I want to be in that what meeting. What can we do? <laughs> that sounds like a fun meeting. It is really fun. And do you know what? It's so nice getting to work with Charlie. And our producer Josh, who works on it with us, is amazing as well. Yeah. Um, I think we just try and push it as weird as we can, really. Yeah, yeah. What is it? What is it about you that you think that that draws people into you? Oh, I've, there are many reasons, <laughs> Harry. I mean, maybe it's my good looks. Maybe it's my intelligence. Maybe it's because I'm so thoughtful. I don't. I honestly don't know. I don't know what it is. I think maybe just because I'm quite normal combination of things. It's just yeah. you you doing what you love doing and being really honest and genuine about it, I guess. Yeah. That people can relate to. Well, I hope that that comes across. I think it does. I mean, until I get rich, of course. <laughs> I wish mean, rich, rich I'd be like, see you later, guys. <laughs> Going on the yacht again. <laughs> this has gone like gravy now. See? So you can buy um, I'm sure it's tamarind got... like this in blocks that's just been dehydrated and it's just blot and all you do is rehydrate it like right. this. You can buy it or you can drop me a line and I'll get it over. Will you? You'll be able yeah, to sort me yeah, out. Of course. Got of a course. tamarind dealer now, will you? <laughs> <laughs> well, something you've always wanted. I'll, I'll be texting you in the middle of the night. Can you sort me out with some more tamarind? <laughs> I'll meet you in a phone box. Be like, all right, Babs. All right, Babs, it's me. What's your favourite thing to cook? Do you cook much for pleasure? Because obviously you spend your life cooking, uh, I, but it's I, your job now as well. It's absolutely. Work. I, I do get a lot of pleasure from cooking and, you know, I will cook every day. So I will come home and I will, I'll make dinner for the family and stuff. On a Sunday, we always have a Sunday roast. And nothing better than a big Sunday roast for me. I love that. Yeah. Do you tend to have dinner yeah. parties or is it not really? Do you know what? I love cooking for my friends, but I don't... <laughs> I don't have a dining table in my flat. So when people come over, it's either have it on a tray or we'll just sit at the little breakfast bar I've got and do it that way. Um, so I feel like if I had a bigger place, I'd probably I'd probably throw more dinner parties. Yeah. Oh, this looks amazing. So you see all of those flavours coming together. I have to say, I did see your Yule log. Oh, yeah. And your uh, hot cross buns, wasn't it? They didn't go as well. <laughs> what did you think? I thought it was great, because I think your style of cooking is very similar to mine. Chuck a bit of that in, bung a bit of that see in, what see what happens. Hope and for the best. There's a lot of hope in. I think that's where uh, a lot of the creativity No, I don't, I don't think we're in the same league, Harry. <laughs> this is just incredible. What do you think? Mm. <laughs> that's amazing. Cool. Really good. I don't think I've ever smelt the fenugreek leaf. So oh, that's me. really unusual. It smells... It smells of curry. <laughs> yeah, it's... It's the iconic curry. It almost smells a little bit like, um, like tea, almost. It's, it's that green, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, it's, it's really nice, though. Oh, God, I've just spilled... <laughs> <laughs> I like it so much, I'm going to pour it all over my hands. <laughs> Get it on me. Sorry about that, Harry. I've that's just made a right. mess of your lovely don't be floor. Silly. That's fine. That's all part of cooking. It's all part of enjoying it. <laughs> yeah. Um, it's flying it around. <laughs> chuck it around. So really, literally squeeze everything through your fingers. And, so and I'm just mixing it all around, yeah, essentially. Just mixing it all around. Great. I was going to say just one hand. Oh. Only because. <laughs> a bit late. <laughs> only because. Whenever you're mixing anything like that, if you use one hand, you've always got one hand clean so you can do other stuff with it. Oh, there could be an issue there. <laughs> anyway. Mm. Good? <laughs> so if you were to describe yourself, would you be Jimmy the vlogger, Jimmy the YouTuber, Jimmy the presenter? I think I'll always probably... I'll be, I'm a YouTuber at heart. That's really? where I started out. And I think that's the thing I'm most most proud of, really. Yeah. You know, I definitely, there was something quite exciting about the fact that nobody knew I was doing this thing. Right. You know, from my friends to my family members, nobody yeah, yeah, knew yeah. that I was making YouTube videos, but there's this whole audience watching me. So when they all found out, my friends and family were like, what? They yeah. must think it's quite 
quite yeah. cool. Do they say to you, is that a job? Oh, like uncles and aunties. <laughs> yeah, so Is that much. what you do? <laughs> my, um, I, don't, I don't know, I think my mum gets it now, but I think at first when, you know, <laughs> People down the hairdressers asked what I was up to. She'd struggled to be able to describe it because she didn't really know. And I did all this cool stuff, and, and she didn't really, she wasn't really following it. But didn't the big really. thing with her was I met Roy from Coronation oh, Street. Oh, amazing! <laughs> and that, <laughs> that really struck a chord with her. She was like, okay, now you've now, made it. Now you've made it. Now you're on Roy's <laughs> level, from oh. Roy's roles of Coronation <laughs> Street. Now we can talk. Right, you. Do you crew guys want any of this or...? Definitely. Okay. Well, it's tough because you're not having any. Because <laughs> you've done absolutely nothing to contribute. All you've done is stand there and watch. It's all yours. <laughs> right. Actually, I'll just eat it out of this, <laughs> if that's all right. Go. Mm, thank you. Do you want a bit of lamb okay. on the side? Yeah, let's have a little, a little lamb pile as well. There you go. Thank you. I mean, I'll have some more of that. Oh, <laughs> the pile obviously not... isn't big enough. There you go. There we there go, you thank go. you. That's Look, more like it. Special for you as well. Okay, I'm going to start with the lamb. I'm going to have to go for it. I can't <laughs> wait. I know it's go rude. Go for it, go, go, go. You've got to have it nice and hot. Mm. That's amazing. Is it? Mm -hmm. That's what we like. So tender. It's just so tasty. Well, I hope it's added some new skills to your belt. Well, I've learned so much as well. And I think I could even be tempted to have a go at the puri bread. Oh, bless I think you. I could That's do it. good. I think you could do it. I, I think, think I can do it. Good. Just get the fire again on standby. <laughs> it's been great to have you cooking with me. Thank you so much. I've really enjoyed it. I've enjoyed it. And remember, I've got loads more recipes, so check out my YouTube channel. Do it. For more foodie fun, subscribe to my YouTube channel.